I'm Debbie Coles DeBay, Public Art Administrator for the City of Boynton Beach, and this is Michael Hall, Director of the Schoolhouse Children's Museum. Michael? Welcome to our museum. This is a restored 1913-era children's schoolhouse that has been turned into a children's museum, and today we're about family and community and schools and the joy of learning in a historical environment, and we welcome you to come and enjoy our museum. Thank you, Michael, and we'll go inside and then we'll look at mural which is inside the Children's Schoolhouse Museum. I want to introduce you to the mural artist. Her name is Helena Wolf. Helena, she'll tell you a little bit about the mural that you created. Hi, I created this mural. I was commissioned by the uh, then executive director of this museum to come in and do something with these white walls to bring in some of the both biological history, the natural history, and the social history of Boynton Beach. of a historical figure from Florida. This is Osceola. And we incorporated him here because he's an introduction to some of the murals in the ladies' room and in the men's room that depict day-to-day -day, uh, life of the indigenous people of Florida. Listen to the ladies' room. We have depictions of everyday Indian life. These uh, murals were pretty much done with uh, acrylics. They've uh, been here for almost five years. These murals were also done by an artist named Isolde Wenzel, who lives in Delray and has been painting for many, many years and is a frequent associate of mine. We do a lot of work together. If you do that. We have a very similar painting style. Yeah, you do. And in the boys' room, the murals depict the everyday life of Native American boys. Fires in here gathering corn. This is the girls' room on the first floor. And the concept behind this was a tribute to some of the old schoolhouse books that were found up in the attic of this museum when they started doing the restoration. So we depicted things in the style of these school books from the 30s in the girls' room and added the words so that young children come in here to try to match the words with the image. Another fun game in here is that we've included all the letters of the alphabet within the grass. And when children in here, they're encouraged to try to find all the letters of the alphabet. X, E, D, and so on. This is the first floor boys' room. Again, a tribute to some of the old school textbooks that were found in this museum or in this schoolhouse when they started the renovation. This is the Mangrove Manor, a playscape for children to explore the things that live above, below, and at sea level in the mangrove. All within, so as children climb through this, they get to experience the various things that live in a mangrove. Here are images of some of the animals and life that we depict within the Mangrove Manor, so that when children climb through and play, they can identify the various species. Spoonbill up in the tree, and it does a kind of cohesion. They get to understand that the mangrove is alive in, in many different ways. At all levels, there's all kinds of life in the mangrove. Picture of baby white ibis chicks. And one of the things that happened here is that this PlayStation really came to life as soon as the art was added. Before that, it was just green boxes. Group effort and, and with people looking at it from different views.
viewpoints. I mean, I was looking at it visually. Arlene was looking at it historically. The education director was looking at it from an educational standpoint. And then you, as the artist, that helped put it in perspective. Exactly. You did help bring it together in your life. Yeah. It, it, was, it was a pleasure doing it. It really was. It was great. Can you tell us a little bit about your other murals that you've done in the past? Well, I, I'm originally from the Connecticut area. And I started my art career in Boston and in Rhode Island doing a lot of historical restoration of some of the mansions in Newport and some of the old works in, uh, in Boston. Moved here about 10 years ago and I started doing a lot of private commissions. And I started, uh, in the course of that, Arlene Dennison, who used to be the executive director here, found me and asked me to sort of rescue her from a mural situation that she had going on here that was starting, was not able to be completed. So we started that, we did the C mural. And from then on, every, every um, <clears throat> probably every year after that, we've added to the museum different elements. Uh, but the other work that I do is mostly private commissions. And when we were doing the tour, you were showing us around the museum, and there were um, lots of areas where you were very surprised at how long the paint has been here how well the art is holding up. You want to comment on that? I was, I was. It's been probably at least five years. And this museum gets a lot of traffic from children who are very hard on all the surfaces. And I'm just, I'm just terribly impressed and, and amazed that none of the surfaces have been damaged, that nobody has drawn on them, that they haven't cracked, they haven't peeled. They've really, uh, they've lasted fabulous. They really have. And it seems to really bring out the whole reason here is to teach children, parents, grandparents about the historical significance, the flaw fauna of our area. That's true. And, and also the historical significance of this building as a building where children went to school and study. It was, it was home to like all the school children in Florida, you know, in the early 1900s. So um, they studied for um, fauna and, and, and the building is still here. Um, just all tied together well, I think, that way. Well, we really thank you for doing such a wonderful job and telling another very significant story, our public art in our city and the Schoolhouse Children's Museum. Well, it was my pleasure. I live here in Boynton Beach, and, and there's nothing I like to see more than, than this wonderful thing going on with our old buildings. Thank you. Thanks. You're always welcome here. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Good luck.